Hello everyone, uh, this is Dustin Binzel and welcome to another Pokemon Journeys discussion. Today we're going to talk about Ash versus Steven. And I gotta say, I'm honestly extremely disappointed in the battle. Very much so. Like, I just recently got it done watching and I don't even need to wait for subtitles because this, unfortunately was probably not a very good battle at all in my opinion like uh, like yeah sure Elon versus Leon will definitely be more disappointing but this honestly was the worst battle of this entire masters tournament you know like obviously Elon and Leon definitely is worse but for a full battle episode this was the worst Masters Tournament battle we've ever seen. Lance versus Diantha and Iris versus Cynthia were way better than this. And I just, for the life of me, cannot fucking understand why this battle was so shitty. This was supposed to be the one fucking battle that Tomioka was supposed to work his ass off... Because it was the one battle that we wanted the most out of all of these. It was nice seeing every other one. But this was the one that was supposed to be guaranteed. Therefore, it should have been the one that had the most work in it. And what we got was utter bullshit in my opinion. Let's just do a recap real quick, shall we? So... Uh, Steven sends out Metagross, and Ash sends out Dracovish. They fu they collide with uh, Ficious Rend and whatever Metagross used, or whatever. And it, it, was, it was Psychic, I believe, but Dracovish hit Metagross first, knocked it around. Dracovish was fine. Steven recalled Metagross, and then Agron was sent out. And then they did one collision of Heavy Slam versus... Dragon Rush, Dracovish loses, and then it's Gengar, and Gengar puts up a good fight, yes, uses burn and everything, but it's still getting its ass handed to it, and then finally, Agron gets knocked out with burn, and then Dilly comes out, and then Gengar, again, puts up a good fight, but in the end, it loses, Leaving Pikachu to go up against Dilly, which thankfully Pikachu managed to take out really easily and take little to no damage from Dilly, And then it was Mega Metagross versus Pikachu. And Pikachu was not able to hit Mega Metagross in one single hit at all. And Metagross used Meteor Mash... And then Psychic and Pikachu managed to survive. Then Ash had Pikachu use the Z-move. And don't get me wrong. The Z-move that was used was really epic. Probably the best usage of 10 million volt Thunderbolt that we've ever gotten. I will give that much. Because it missed initially. But then it managed to go around and track into Metagross. As Metagross was going to use an attack. But then one of the beams stopped Metagross. And then the rest, and then a few other beams hit Metagross, knocked it to the ground. And then Pikachu used Iron Tail to knock out Metagross. And that was the end of the match. Now, that was fine. That sequence was fine. And I didn't necessarily have too much of a problem with Ash winning overall. But how it was done was absolute garbage. Like... So Pikachu doesn't get one hit against Mega Metagross, struggles, and then because of a Z-move and Iron Tail combination, manages to knock out Mega Metagross. Like, there's underdog, and then there's absolute bullshit garbage. Like, this is, this is what I've said before, even on Twitter and p other videos. It's like they don't understand battle composition at all, whatsoever, and it pisses me the fuck off it really pisses me the fuck off so much because here's the thing 
It's not cool to see a trainer struggling to really do anything and then just do some sort of combo move and win as if it's somehow deserved. Like, don't get me wrong. Pikachu Z move is absolutely strong. No doubt. It could probably take it, take that out. Direct hit. No problem. I can understand that much. It's that overpowered. But don't sit there and... And belittle my viewing pleasure by having Pikachu miss all of its moves. And the only thing that Metagross got hit by was in its normal form of Fishius Ren. Who knows if that did anything before this battle. And then Mega Metagross is just flying all over the place, missing. And then Ash has no strategy and is upset. And then he just pulls out a Z-move that somehow manages... To knock Metagross to the ground with severe damage enough to do an Iron Tail. And then of course Dracovish doesn't get anything. And Gengar doesn't even get to use properly. It only uses Will-O-Wisp against Agron. Which I guess could be pointless against Dilly or whatever maybe. Although Power Whip was like... Yeah, like I, I, I just cannot understand this battle at all. Some of the cameos were nice. I think we saw Katie, which was really cool, and some of the other Hoenn characters. And we saw all of Ash's Pokemon again in a quick shot as everyone was watching outside and everything. We saw Paul and everything. But there was a lack of cameos that we could have gotten. I just... I don't understand. Tomioka, if he did write this battle, I don't know if he did, but if he did, he is usually normally a good... Writer, And so I just cannot understand why he even wrote this crap. Because overall, this was just bad. Like, I can understand people not liking Lance Diantha because it was too stiff or whatever. And maybe you had some issues with Iris versus Cynthia. But this is Ash. This is the main character of the anime. And he just sucked so miserably in this episode... That I just, I'm not even sure I understand or just or can understand the justification for Ash being in Master's class. Yes, he defeated Steven, but it it's like it feels like it was it there was like wrapped his win was wrapped up in a band aid, and like Tomioka is like, oh sorry Ash, you were supposed to win the battle here. Um, here have some plot armor and plot contrivances and let you win. Like, I just, I'm sorry, but this battle should have done, should have been made so much better that I just, I don't understand. Like, I can understand fatigue. Tomioka is a good writer, and maybe he's fatigued, but I, if he wrote, the, if he constructed this battle before the producers, like, you know, we should actually produce all the other battles and stuff, and Tomioka's like, Oh, crap, let me just hurry up and write episodes. Like, he didn't have any idea how Ash vs. Steven was going to go. Because I would think that would be the most important thing is how Ash vs. Steven go. You know, like, like I can understand why Ash used his Z-move in this particular episode. Because he had no fucking choice to use his Z-move. But, oh my god, it did not need to happen like this. Like, I would have been... Gengar should have should have survived enough just for it to use will against Metagross and then have Pikachu actually hit Metagross at least once or twice with Thunderbolt, maybe shaking it off, but at least hitting it. And then we have the Z-move and everything like that. Otherwise, I just... I don't understand. Like, this is just... So absurdly bad. I thought they would do better because it's Ash. I don't understand why Pokemon Journeys insists on screwing Ash over. But at the same time, like, what are you talking about? He's in Masters 8. I just don't think his win against Steven was justified as much as they want us to believe it is. At this particular point, I don't care about his Journeys team. Ash would have fared a lot better or should have fared better with his old Pokemon. Like, Dracofish had no business being there. And Gengar? Gengar seemed to just struggle at, at in any of the battles. Like, I just... 
Like, there is a time and a place where the power scale and then trying to justify it, but then it's like you're screwing Ash over. Be for, for what purpose? I just, I don't understand. You know, and, and then of course, Alon, Iris, and Steven, they disappear at the end of the episode because they're done, which is a shame, which just leaves the four normal people in Hop and Go, and it's like, oh, that's not very exciting. I don't even know if Diantha is going to save for Ash versus Cynthia. I would like her to, but I don't think so. I mean, we haven't seen Diantha interacting with Ash yet, necessarily, you know? I just, I don't know how this is going to go, and I don't know if these rounds were just bad because they're the first round and they and Tomioka just dropped the ball on Ash versus Steven but unless Leon and Diantha and Cynthia versus Ash shape up to be better this is going to be the worst well not the worst but it's going to be a very bad tournament overall and I just this was the Masters tournament I'm sorry, but you should have put a lot more effort into it. A lot more effort into the battles, and this just wasn't it. Like, this just was not it. I think of every other 3 versus 3 that Ash has ever had was so much better than this garbage. In my opinion, I just... Outside of how cool the Zemu worked... And Gengar, with what some of the stuff it did, this was the worst battle, not counting Alon versus Leon, because that was just a very, that was half a episode of a battle. So I just, I don't know if my opinion is going to change after a while. This is just my initial discussion rant of this episode, but... Uh, I I'm I'm just not happy at all. I'm really really not happy, and it is what it is. So thank you for listening, watching, whatever. I'll see you in the next video.